Welcome to Dr. Roulette. I got the prescription for your subscription. Okay, guys, we're playing a brand new strategy called Finding the Dozen. And this is how you're going to play Finding the Dozen. You're going to wait for a dozen that hasn't hit in the longest. So let's see here. Or a column. So we have 5, 33, 10, 17, 11. So let's see. Okay, so in this case, uh, we are going to go, we're going to place one, we're, so we're going to start with $1. I started with a $1,000 uh, balance, okay? Um, and we're going to play the dozen or column that hasn't hit the longest. And um, and uh, I'll show you how, how to do this, but what we're going to do is we're only going to do four attempts. So I'm going to give myself four tries going up $1 uh, for each loss. Okay, so that's a loss. Okay, so I started with $1,000. So let's see if we can make some tracks. So we're going up a dollar at a time. Just gonna change the brightness. Bit too bright. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's a bit too low now. Okay. from up $2 uh, on the bet. So we're only going to go up a dollar at a time. We're going to give ourselves four attempts to try to hit it. Okay, and we got it. All right, so I'm up $3. So let's see, 22, 14, 5, 33. So 22, 14, 5. Okay, so the longest that hasn't hit is the third column. And the reason why we're only giving ourselves four attempts is that you never know when a column is going to get so cold uh, that sometimes it could be 15, 20 times before it hits. And I think that's what a lot of roulette players, when they get in trouble, is that they, they think in their head it's bound to hit. And no, it's not bound to hit. Uh, you know, it's... a. Uh, it's uh, you know that that's why because you never know when a, when a, when a when a dozen or a column can get really really cold, so that's why after four I suggest that you move, uh, you move and, and you find another dozen or column that hasn't hit you know in in the second longest time, and then if you after four attempts then you go back to the other one, if that makes sense to you guys, so you you just want to like play around with it. And I'm going to go up a dollar regardless of if I'm in profit or not. And if I lose four in a row, uh, then I go up five dollars, but I wait for another pattern to emerge. And so let's go see here. I'm up five dollars. So five, 33, 22. Okay, 33, 22. So in, in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to sit out a few uh, spins. Actually, I won't do that. I will go to another table. And after a couple of wins, you want to switch tables because, like, as I mentioned, the wheel always catches up to you. And so let's go to another table. Okay, this is the speed roulette. Oops. Okay, I accidentally pressed that one. So let's go see. 24, 11, 10, 34. Okay. So that's three. Okay, so the longest that hasn't hit is the uh, third dozen. So let's give ourselves four attempts. Now, yeah, I think a lot of roulette players is that they keep on thinking that, you know, they're just going to keep on betting on the same dozen or column. And, you know, they, they just want to get their money back and, you know, make a profit, which is understandable. But um, I think it's uh, I think it's better to to uh, do four attempts and then go to another column or dozen that has that has hit in the second longest time. And then that way you don't get trapped in, in a dozen or a column that hasn't hit in a long time. Okay, so I think, uh, I think the next one will be the first column. So I'm up $7. Let's go see here. Okay, just hit. Too bad. Okay, so 28. Okay, 
eight. Twenty nine three. Okay, so that would be the second one that hasn't hit the longest. I, if I wasn't doing a video, I would have waited a bit before I, I put money on the second dozen, but I'm doing a video here, so I don't want to bore you too much. So let's go see here. Okay, that's another win. Came up nine dollars. So seventeen twenty eight. 29, 3. Okay, so then the next one would be the third column. If I get another win, I'll go back to the other table. That's a loss. I find this works a lot better than follow the leader. I've had a lot of success um, doing this strategy and I like this better than playing two out of the three dozens or two out of three columns because um, you know you're, you're not betting two units to make one unit you're betting one unit to make two units so it's extremely effective okay that's another loss so we have to go three Ooh, doctor. All right, 12 bucks. So 9, 7, 11, 17. Okay, so let's go back to third dozen. Two, three, four, five. Let's give ourselves four chances. And then if I lose four in a row, I'm just going to go up a dollar, five. And then if I if I if I win, I'm I'm just gonna keep flat betting until I'm back in session profit. And then I'm gonna go back to flat betting. So I'll show you that when I cross that bridge. Let's see here if I can pick up another win. The way that the roulette wheel is uh like you know um in, on the racetrack is that it's it's designed where it uh, hits many different dozens and columns. So that's why I find that uh, this is a very good strategy. Because it's high number, low number, uh, uh, you know, it, it hits like all the third, the first, second, and third dozens. Uh, they hit uh, quite often. But like I said, you can get that unlucky uh, uh, that un, un misfortune of having a dozen or column that doesn't hit in a long time. Um, but usually the case, so I'm up $15. And, you know, 27, 17, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, Consecutively, sometimes it, you can get unlucky and have a bad batch of uh, unlucky numbers. So 24, 27, 21, uh, 10, 36. Okay, we're going to hit the, the middle column. It hasn't hit in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 spins. So let's see here if we can, um, if we can hit it, give ourselves four chances. It's amazing, like, you know, how, like, the roulette wheel has no memory, but yet it follows the laws of average so, so, uh, so consistently, you know? Um, but, uh, sort of a paradox. Usually if I wasn't making this video, I would cash out at like, you know, 10 bucks and then, you know, take a break and then come back after half an hour, take a break and then come back. And, um, but since I'm doing a video, I want to see if I can make more than 10 bucks at a time. So let's go see here. Okay, 
that's a loss. So far, we've we've been able to nail them on four attempts or less. But let's go see here. It's four o'clock uh, Eastern time. Uh, on a uh, Saturday. Well, technically Sunday, so. I like to play at this time because the uh, server is not laggy, you know? Like, when there's a lot of people playing at the same time, it gets extremely slow. So this is a good time to play. Okay, well, that's a loss. Okay, so now we're going to go four. All of a sudden, I'm only at $5 in profit now. Right, let's see what happens here. So this is my last attempt on the second column. I will not push it more than four attempts, uh, but I'll I'll be up at five dollars. But I'll be, I'll be waiting for another uh, column or dozen that has hit in the second longest time. But I'm going to stay away from the second column because, as I mentioned, it can go really cold. So let's go see here. Get it on the fourth one. Okay, and I don't. So now I have to go up five dollars. So twelve, fifteen, twelve, zero, twenty-four. Okay, so now let's go here. Let's go five. Okay, this is the second longest that hasn't hit. So we're switching. Oh, and it hit it on the middle column there, just as I switch, but we're gonna play this right. We're gonna play it the way that it's intended to play. usually after three or four attempts um, you should you should get it and if you don't you just uh, switch to the second longest one that hasn't hit so let's go see here if I can get it on the second attempt no that's the middle one again okay we're down now so seven Okay, nice, we got that one. But So what we're going to do, so at $7, we're going to switch again. Uh, this time we are going to go $7 on the third dozen. We're keeping the bets the same. Okay, we're not, we're not going down flat betting because we're still uh, below session profit. We're still up in profit, but uh, we want to be back in session profit before we go back flat betting. So that's why we're keeping the bets the same. And we give ourselves four attempts, only going up a dollar each. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of Martin Galing or doubling or tripling my bets. I find this is a very conservative way to play. And let's see. Okay, so that's a loss. Let's go eight. Okay, so the uh, third dozen hasn't hit in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So ten, ten spins ago. My second attempt. OK, 
Okay, that's another loss. So we get uh, we get two more attempts. Nine dollar bet. Just missed that one. Okay, we gotta go up ten dollars. Final one here. Missed that one. Okay. Okay. So now we have to go eleven dollars, but uh, we're just gonna play a little side mission here. Six. I just have a little superstition with the six. The nine comes out, so we'll do two dollars, and we'll go up eleven dollars. But we're gonna switch tables. Let's see here if I can get this win here. This is just a side mission. This isn't part of the strategy. Okay, that's a loss. Okay, so what we're gonna do, instead of switching tables, uh, we're just gonna wait for uh, three more attempts, and then we're gonna go back to the third dozen, okay? So, we remember, we have to go up. Um, I'll just play the, oops. We'll just uh, play this little side mission uh, for a couple, and then we'll go back to, um, uh, I think it was $11 that we have to do or something. We'll do 11. We're just waiting for the third dozen. Uh, a couple more attempts, and then we'll go back to third dozen. Unless it hits, and then we'll choose another one. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll wait one more time. And then we'll put $11 on the third dozen. Down $30. I could have chose another uh, dozen uh, or column, but they've all came out pretty well. Uh, okay, so that was the third one. Okay, so we, we're going to stay away from that one since it just hit. Uh, unfortunately, I wanted to bet on that one, but it's too late now. Uh, 28, 15, 15. Okay, so let's switch tables. And uh, let's go to... The speed roulette. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, four nine twelve. Okay, so eleven dollars here. The middle column hasn't hit in a while. So let's see here. That's a loss. Second attempt. Let's 
see if we can battle back here. That's another loss. Third attempt. Nice. Okay, got that one. So that was 13, so we're gonna leave the bets at $13, uh, but we're gonna choose a different one uh, that hasn't hit in a while, but we're gonna, we're gonna bounce. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back here, so we have to go $13. We're gonna continue at 13. So oops, let's go see here. Okay, so what am I looking for? 27. Okay, 31. Okay, so let's go second. And we're going $13. Down in the hole, 40 bucks. Let's see if we can get a comeback here. We started off well, uh, but then we, we got some, some serious losses. Let's go see here. That's another loss. Okay, 14 now. Maybe it'd be better going up two units instead of just one. Maybe I'll I'll do that. Um, not now, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Second attempt. Thing. Third attempt. Let's see how the zero is doing. I might want to add uh, insurance on the zero. Yeah, I think I will. So loss. Steam. Go up one more, 17. This is my last attempt on the second dozen. Okay, got that. Okay. Still down 38, so that was 17. Okay, so 22. Th okay, one second, 22. 36, seven. Okay, let's go middle. Oh, I wasn't able to. I wanted to be at least at $13, so made a mistake there. It's okay. Let's make some tricks.
right, good, got that one. Okay, still down uh, 11, so we'll keep the bed at 11. So 26, 12, okay, so let's see if there's anything else I can do here. No, let's switch. Back to speed auto roulette. So let's do 12, oops, what is this now? 11, 21, okay. Okay, this is gonna go here, oh shit. I wanted to go up $12, but I wasn't able to get the bid on time. Uh, that would be heartbreaking if I win this one. I'm easily $3 when I could have won. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go back. I'll start the progression at $13. So I won't count that one as a, as a first attempt. So this will be our first attempt. If I wasn't making this video, I would be waiting uh, for my trigger points where I would be waiting about maybe six or seven spins that haven't hit in a dozen or a column before I made my bets. But I, I, I want to make this... Uh, oh, so let's go see here. That's a loss. I don't want to bore you guys by waiting uh, for like the trigger points of like six or seven, but that's usually what I normally do when a column or a dozen hasn't hit, so I give myself more ammunition. And this is my second attempt. Oh, nice, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm only down twelve dollars. So thirteen, thirteen. Uh, okay, so thirteen, thirty-two, twenty-nine, eleven, twenty-one. So the third column has been the longest. Okay, so let let's just wait a couple of spins and let's uh, give ourselves the best opportunity to come back here. So let's see here. 11, 21, so let's give it a couple more. Oh shit, it just got there. Okay, let's bounce. Seven, uh, 18. Okay, so one to one to twelve hasn't hit in a while. Okay. All right. So let's go to one to twelve. And we'll start the progression at ten. Well, let's do eleven and do a, we'll cover the zero as well. I think the zero is going to hit soon hasn't hit in a while. When was the last time? Was, oh, shit, wait, no, it did hit not too long ago, actually. So let's go see here. Nice. Okay, up, up $9. So that's why when you bet those dozens... You always have a chance to come back because you get two for one. So there's always that, which is really great. Um, but I'm still not in session profit, but I am up $9. So I'm happy about that at least. Always better to have profit than no profit at all. So I'm not complaining, but I want to make more money. And uh, let's go back to speed roulette. Okay, let's go see what's going on here. Oh, 
Oh, shit. I accidentally put a bet on the second column, but it was only a dollar, so I don't care. Okay, so 6, uh, 18. What is the longest number that hasn't hit? Okay, so 6, 18. Okay, 15. Okay, let's go back to the second column. Cover the zero as well. We'll do $10. The second column hasn't hit in a while. So it's a loss. A spin on it. Third attempt. If you guys have any ideas on how to modify it to make this better, uh, please let me know. One more attempt. Increase that. Give it a bit more juice here. Okay, nothing there. Okay, that was 14, so 16, 12. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go here, third. Oh, shit. I don't have time to put it all. I'm covering the zero because the numbers are getting a bit high here. Nice. Got that one, but I should have been more because I, I didn't have time to bet, to place it. Okay, so what was that? Uh, okay, let's go back to the, the, the second column. Like, I know this is a good strategy, it's just I'm not sure if I should go up two units instead of just one. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. But we'll see. Oh, nice. I got that one. Okay, so 987. Let's bounce. Go back here. Okay, so twenty four, thirty, twelve, twenty six. Okay, so we're going to go here. Cover the zero. I don't always cover the zero, and that's completely optional. Um, depending on how, uh, depending on how you want to play it, you don't have to cover the zero. So 
So it hasn't hit in a while. Okay, seven, that's a win. Nice. Okay, I'm up 10 bucks. I'm still not satisfied to go back flat bidding. Seven, 24, 30, 12. Okay, let's go middle. Cover the zero. Oh, okay, we'll do $9. So we'll go back to $9 as a, as a starting, starting point. So this has been a roller coaster. Just like a lot of roulette strategies are. You just have to know when to cash out. Okay, that's a loss. Just need a couple of good wins in a row. But it certainly has been a roller coaster. Uh, just wonder how to how to uh increase the bets i mean one increasing it by just one uh just doesn't seem to be enough but i'm keeping the bets the same when i when i win until i'm back in session profit so but even th that i mean it's uh let's see okay it's a loss third attempt I don't like Martin Galing and like that. If I did that, I probably would have lost all my bankroll by now. I like to play conservatively. Come on, middle column. Let's get a middle column here. 20, right down Broadway. Came up $10. Oh, what a battle this has been. 20, 16, 25, 7. Let's bounce. Fourteen, twenty-four. Okay, let's go third. We'll start the progression at 10. Third attempt. It just seems like I'm always flirting with uh, a profit of $10. It's just like uh, it's a bit uh, frustrating that I can't seem to get track on that. But that's the thing when you're covering just 12, 12 numbers. But it can get you back in the game. Uh, but to try to maintain and sustain a profit is proving to be a bit challenging here. But let's continue. Okay, that could be that's a that's a weird spin. Nice. Okay, up thirteen dollars. Okay, so let's go back to the first column. Well, first dozen. Let's do ten dollars. One, two. Come on, let's see if we can get some momentum here. It's a loss. I 
If I can just hit it on the second attempt instead of hitting it on the fourth attempt, that would be great. Or the first attempt, but just doesn't work out like that. But like I said, I would be paying about a lot. I'd be playing a lot more patient if I wasn't making a video, so. I'd be definitely playing more patiently. Ooh, doctor! Came up $23. That's a six, so let's see if my superstition with the nine, a zero. We're just doing a little side mission here. Twenty bucks, good. Okay, no. Okay, so twenty-eight, six, thirty-five. Okay, so a second dozen is what I should be targeting. But let's give it a couple of spins before we let's be, let's play a bit more patient now, and wait for the um, second dozen. It hasn't hit in one, two, three, four. So let's go see here. Let's give it a couple of spins before we target the dozen. Ah, oh, fuck. Just as I say that, okay, so let's bounce. Okay, four, five, six. one, two, three, four, four, twelve, fifteen. Okay, let's go here. Okay, we'll start the progression at five. Let's play it a bit safe now, since now we have a, a bit of a cushion. It's been a while since we had profit. I've been chasing losses, but I'm not, I'm chasing losses, but I'm doing it, you know, one unit up at a time for every loss and keeping my bets the same when I win. Oh shit. I just realized that I'm on the wrong I'm on the wrong one here. Oh crap. Oh too late now. Okay, let's bounce. Let's try another roulette table. Let's go to Turkey, get your passports ready. We're going to Turkey. I believe this is the Turkey one in there in the Arabic one. Three 33, 23, 18. Uh, no, these numbers are not good. Let's see if there's anything else. Get your, uh, okay, let's go see here. Oh, here's the turkey. This is the one from Turkey. Yeah, this is the one from Turkey here, so I like this table. Um, 18, 30, uh, 30, 20. Okay, so let's do 1 to 12. Hopefully it doesn't hit. That hasn't hit in a long time. So let's see here. Please don't hit 1 to 12. Fuck, of course it does. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, so 8... 30, 23, 26. God, what's going on here? Oh, damn it, they're doing maintenance now. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they're cleaning at the board, of course. Sorry for the delay, guys. Let's go back here. 8, 4, 26. Okay, so 35, 8, 4, 26, 4, 5, 17, 12. Okay, so that one, the third column. Okay, so let's go to the third column. I'll start the progression at $6. Let's get some tracks here. On the fourth attempt, we'll, we'll cover the zero. It's 
the loss. We'll go seven, only up two dollars in profit. This has been a, a very slow grind. At least I'm still up. Ooh, doctor. Came up 23. So seven, so we'll... Okay, let's go back flat betting, but uh, 3, 14, 34, 35. Okay, so let's bounce. See if we can find another table that hasn't hit in a while. Uh, the turkey one was good, but it was in maintenance. Uh, let's go see here. Let's go to Japan, get your Japanese passports out, get your passport out. We'll go to Japan. Okay, the middle doesn't. Please don't hit the middle doesn't. Please don't hit the middle doesn't. Oh, fuck. I wanted to pounce on the middle doesn't since it didn't hit in a while. Okay, so 14, 11, 7, 32, 30. I guess we'll, I guess we'll go in the third column. We'll go back to $1, $1. I was hoping for a nice $50 profit day so I can, um, I want to go see WrestleMania tomorrow and uh, I would like to, um, you know, have a nice uh, uh, nacho plate with like bacon and and like uh, guacamole and uh, chicken and uh, and a nice picture, a pitcher of beer watching Wrestlemania, so I would like to have $50 for that, but that's okay, I mean, $20 of profit is not so bad, but I would like to make, I'd like to make at least $30, I mean, $50 would have been the target, but I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see. WrestleMania. I don't like how they do that with WrestleMania. I don't know if you guys are wrestling fans. I'm sort of like a semi wrestling fan. I like to watch the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, but um, I don't watch wrestling every week. Um, but um, I don't like how they they do with the WrestleMania, uh, where they where they cut the shows like on Saturday night, and then Sunday. I find that like it's too much. I mean, I I didn't see the one today. I just care about the one on Sunday. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Um, I'm looking forward to that match a lot. Um, okay, that's a loss. Okay, four. And um, so I think uh, it would be interesting to see Cody Rhodes win, but at the same time, I, th I like how... The, there's a streak of uh, wins for Roman Reigns. I think he's been champion for, what is it, two years and a half now? Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. I don't like when the belts keep changing um, all the time. Let's see here. Four. Okay, that's a win. Up 25. Okay, not bad. We're making some tracks here. Oh, I see the 35 hasn't hit in a long time. Um, kind of tempted. You know what? Let's do the progression at $5. Start at 5 Let's see if we can get it.
across that one. Five, six. See how the zero is doing? I'll cover it on the fourth attempt. This is my second attempt. I like how the Japanese version of roulette is they spin the ball and then they, they, they leave. So I guess they're trying to show you that they don't have like a buzzer underneath like they used to do in the 1930s with uh, the Al Capone casinos, like when they used to rig them underneath the wheel. Okay, that's a 24. That's a loss. Okay, let's go on the third attempt here. Getting kind of tired. It's 4.51 a.m. in Montreal. Well, this kind of sucks now that we've dropped down to $7. Like I said, I would like to have a nice Nacho Supreme meal at the, at the bar tomorrow watching WrestleMania with a pitcher of beer. That would be nice. Let's go see here. Oh, missed it again. Maybe I should have went flat bidding since I was up. Oh, well, let's go see here. Eight. I think I'll cover this zero as well. My final attempt on this one now. Mm. Let's do ten and then another one on zero. Oh, and, and we'll also play six. Because the nine came out. The superstition was nine and six, six and nine. So, let's see here. another double so let's choose another dozen or column so 13 1 8 24 uh, let's bounce let's go back here nine okay let's do oh shit Crap, I sort of messed that one up. Should have been, uh, anyways, that's okay. I'll just uh, go up a few more dollars extra on the second dozen if I don't hit it here. The black was a mistake, I didn't even want to do that. Ah, uh, too bad, I, I'm, plus I got it, so. Ah, uh, I should have been up higher than that, but what are you gonna do? Just wasn't fast enough. Eighteen nine eighteen eight nine nine twelve. Okay, so let's go here. Let's see if the zero came up. Oh, it's getting cold. Let's also see here. Nice. Okay, that's good. 17. So, 22. Okay. Okay, so let's go third. Come in the zero. 
we'll start to progression at seven. Let's give ourselves four attempts to hit the yet there dozen. Nice. Okay, I'm up $30. Okay, guys, I think uh, that's it for me today. Um, I wanted to make $50. Um, I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to reach my my goal of 50 but I made $30, which isn't bad. I'm taking that to the bank. And uh, usually, I, usually I, I'm more patient when I play this strategy. Uh, and really wait a long time before it doesn't hit, and then do the four attempts. But you know what? Thirty bucks. I mean, it took a longer. It, it was a long session, uh, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Ha have a great weekend, guys, and uh, please gamble responsibly. Oh, and there's the six. I told you six and the nine. Oh well, too late for that. Good night.